Hey guys, I just want to do a quick video to show you how to run Fallout on uh, any Android device. Um, it runs through uh, DOSBox Turbo. And this is actually my Barnes & Noble Nook that I have hacked out running Cyanogen Mod. Um, anyway, we'll open up... Let's see, we'll open up DOSBox Turbo here. You can see... Sorry, I'm recording this with my iPhone, so the video is not great. Um, if you want to get hold of, if you want to get a hold of the original Fallout, you can actually go to GOG.com, Good Old Games. If you haven't played it before, I highly recommend it. Um, anyway, I got it all set up here, but anyway, you just drop it on the root of your SD card. Um, we're going to run it here. Oops. Got to know your little DOS commands there. Okay. And here we go. Alright. So anyway, it's loading up Fallout. So we'll see in a second. Okay, we're loading. Good landscape mode here. If you don't have Cyanogen mod for your Nook, it comes highly recommended. There's a uh, special version of it that I download. The guy constantly updates it. And it's, uh, it's a really, really good mod. But you have to have a, a rooted nook first. But I highly recommend it. Anyway, we'll bypass this real quick. Let's see, it's a good keyboard. <laughs> and sit back space here. There we go. Just kind of pass the videos up. Um, the music doesn't work. It does, but it's it's really staticky, but that's just something to do with DOSBox. Um, it's playable, but it runs a little slow. I wouldn't recommend this for, you know, just for first time playing uh, Fallout, but if you want something cool to run on your phone or uh, Nook, it's really neat to try out anyway. Um, all the standard settings on uh, DOSBox Turbo. Works really well, uh, much faster than standard DOSBox or any of the apps I've seen. Uh, it constantly gets updated, which is good. Uh, we'll just take our normal character here. We'll go into the game so you can see how quickly it runs. Um, the only thing that I've really done is I put uh, always run on, and we'll skip this too. Again, the video audio doesn't work great. The in-game audio works fine, just not the music so much. Okay. And if they made an actual port to Android for Fallout, that would be great. Or an iOS device. That would be amazing. But this is about as close as we're going to get so far. Okay. And you see it loading. Alright, and there we have it. Okay, and I'll kind of mess around a little bit just so you can see the speed of it. Um, again, this is all the standard settings on DOSWAX Turbo. I haven't really messed with any configuration here. Um, let's go to open the body. Let's see here. There we go. Yeah, loot that body. Anyway, take your stuff. Okay. Anyway, we'll go into a little battle here so you can get kind of a better idea of how it's running. Um, anyway. This is easily one of my favorite games of all time. It actually got me into 
playing RPGs. They really haven't been as good as Fallout 1 and 2 since, honestly. That's why I'm really happy to hear that they're doing Wasteland 2, which is more or less going to be another Fallout game. Well, it's going to be another Wasteland game, but you'll notice a lot of Fallout elements. So anyway, here we are running. Um, here we go. Fight the rat. So anyway, we'll get our gun here. And let's go to the rat. Well, hold on here. Really hard to do looking through the phone. Okay. Well, anyway. This actually controls better. Just not so easily when you're uh, looking through a phone. There we go. And now he's a dead rat. So anyway, we'll uh, kind of walk forward. But it, it doesn't run just too bad. Um, anyway, like I said, DOSBox Turbo. Um, this is Cyanogen Mod running on my Nook. And if you want Fallout, go to GOG.com. Good old games. I'll have all the links in my description. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.